and it's a storm of activity. Taking a proactive approach to bridge capability gaps in an era of declining resources, the 412th Theater Engineer Command has brought all the Army engineering components together. They're going to define what the Army Reserve and therefore the Army looks like in the future. This, this is way above where you would expect a unit to be doing. They are really leading the pack on this. They're asking the hard questions and they're, they're, they're holding nothing back. Leaders from active duty, United States Army Reserve Command, the National Guard, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Army Engineer School, and the 416th and 412th Techs collaborated to examine Army Service Component Command's resource deficits and provide cooperative solutions during the exercise. Uh, we could go off into our individual holes and come up with various solutions that apply to that various component, whether it be Army Reserve or National Guard. In all likelihood, it's going to be compatible with both components. So if we collectively look at the issue, come up with a collective solution, then it's all unified. Solutions that will allow reserve soldiers to gain real-world experience. And they really get to go to a foreign country and use a dozer or you know, build a school or whatever. And that, um, and that, so then when time comes for them to actually deploy somewhere, they have that skill. The Engineer Tech ASCC planning exercise is one of the most significant meetings in the U.S. Army Engineer Regiment's history. This is definitely historical because we have not had the opportunity really to get well, everybody here in one room and not only to talk but also to work and to be able to work out plausible solutions as we move forward. The exercise proves that these theater engineer commands will be shaping the future of the engineer regiment moving towards the Army of 2020 and beyond. Reporting from Orlando, I'm Army Sergeant Brad Richardson.